bought this new Tenda AC1900. Um, it's a model AC15. It's a wireless router. It can also be set up as a repeater if you want. Um, <clears throat> but I need it for the router purposes because my current one keeps dropping out. And uh, I've never used one of these routers before. So we're going to learn together. It's a dual band, has the 2.4 gigahertz and the 5 gigahertz uh, bands, and then the USB 3.0. So we'll set it up together and uh, show you how I do it. Everything that came in the box you got your cable, your AC adapter, your router, your stand, and then I covered up. There's a sticker right here that shows your SSID and password to get in to it for initial settings. So I just wanted to hide that. And you got your instructions. So we'll walk through that. One thing I've already had issues with is the antennas. I was <clears throat> trying to get them to all point up. This one worked. This one will not. And then uh, this one popped out. So it's actually out of joint. It's popped out of joint there and that's really irritating. So I'm going to try to get that back in and get this all set back up. So I have another antenna here that popped out just to show you how it goes back together. You got your wire that lines up with the groove and same on both sides. Groove on the antenna. <clears throat> so you don't want it like that. You want the grooves to line up. That pin in the middle lines up with notches going into the antenna and can't really show it that well there you go there's a little there's a notch there in the middle of the antenna and then you slide that those pins into the notches and then push until it snaps into the uh, there's uh, holes that the pins should snap into and this one didn't quite line up and I noticed that when I was putting the other one back in they just just don't want to line up there we go got it that time and it pops back out so these antennas are not put together well here it is um, <clears throat> this is the back of it you got your gigabit uh, ports your input and then your three outputs you got your USB 3.0 input there your AC adapter input uh, your power on and off and then down here you can see where you would plug the stand in. You want to hand me a stand Rocco? Yeah. It's right there. Yeah. Yep, thank you. And you can hand, you can plug the stand in. Um, <clears throat> you can plug the stand in like this if you want it. Um, I'll go ahead and do that. Just a second, buddy. Right. So it stands in, and then underneath this, it'll give you your default SSID and password to get in. I'm going to change some things. Here's your WPS button. If you got something that you just need to connect by hitting that button and and uh, searching for it, and then. Here's a button to shut off your Wi-Fi. There's a reset button if you need to uh, reset your router. All right, so let's uh, plug it in and set it up. And I'm going to change the default uh, SSID and password and look at the settings. I'm going to follow the directions here. And first I got my router plugged in and I got the Ethernet cable coming from the modem and into the blue plug in the back for the internet in and then I'm going to log into the router uh, through my wireless here on my laptop so I'm using Windows 10 so let's find this bad boy and there it is let's connect okay
All right, it's connected. It says there's no internet, but it's secured. Whatever. Let's finish the setup and see what happens. So did the first part here. And it tells me to go to this tendawithy.com. So we'll do that. All right. Now we got our quick setup wizard here. Start. All right, we're gonna set up our IP. <clears throat> Alright, on this page it actually shows you your uh, SSID and password, which I'm going to blank the password out. Alright, so I changed my SSID and password here. Let's see if it actually accepts it or if we are supposed to leave it as is. No. Okay, so it uh, they let me change it there in that screen, and all right. <clears throat> so it kicked me on my wireless because it's changed. So we'll log back in. I'll enter my password. All right, it's connecting. Can't connect. Why? Show to con connect, and then it uh, went to this, and now it says it's connected, just no internet. Which I'm probably going to have to unplug my router and my cable modem, and then plug them back in to get them to communicate with one another. So I'm going to do that right now. So I'm going to unplug both of them for 10 seconds. I'm going to plug them both back in at the same time, and hopefully they can sync up. I reset my router and my modem, but uh, still says no internet. But the little little internet icon there is all lit up, so I'm not really sure what's going on. I'm going back to the Tinder Wi-Fi. And I'm going to log in. Okay, so, well, I, I logged in and now it's kicked me out. i got to log back in again, I guess. Alright, so it looks like I'm back in. I'm going to change it to... DHCP, hit connect, see if that does it. Disconnect. Connecting. Connected, yay! So we got internet now. <coughs> Fantastic. Okay, good. So, now I can uh, mess with my settings here. Alright, so right there is the IP address, so I'm going to try to log into it without going through this Tinder Wifi website. So I'm just going to try to go with the 192.168.0.1. Open up a new internet window. Let's see if that so that, <coughs> that does it too. Looks like it takes you to log in. I'll go ahead and log back in. All right, so there's the quick and dirty setup. I the only complaints I got is the antennas are easy to pop off. Um, it kicks you out the first time you log in, and you have to log in a second time. And then the internet setup, you had to make sure you switch it to the DHCP in order to get it to work. One other thing I didn't like about it is this cable. It, it, this Ethernet cable just feels like cheap junk. And it doesn't even have the rating on it, so I don't know if it really is cheap junk or not. This one here, you can see the rating on Alright, so this cable here, you can see the rating is a CAT 5E. So it should be able to handle up to a gigabyte of data uh, bandwidth. <clears throat> this one, who knows what it can handle. 
It just looks like a piece of junk. Can't set up any MAC address filters. I like to be able to do that on my systems, but I'm okay. With this, we'll see how the performance is. I wanted to use the app with this router, and it said that uh, my router's version is too low to be managed by the app. So I went and my looked at my firmware, and it uh, it was that one right there. And I'm trying to get it to update the firmware <coughs> to that one. The firmware that I downloaded came in this .rar file and I had to download an app for Windows 10 in order to unpack that RAR file uh, into a new folder and then uh, and then that's the actual firmware update that dot bin file. So I want to update my firmware so I can use the app go to system settings firmware update now I tried doing the online upgrade and it just sits there and says detecting new version never does so I'm doing the local upgrade and I downloaded the file already I'll choose it there it is open let's see if it'll work and there it goes it's updating the firmware got the firmware upgraded and the app is working now so I'm happy